So uh, we don't we don't actually engineer the moths. What happens is the um, there is a synthetic man-made copy of the sex pheromone that the uh, the female moth will naturally produce when they're ready to mate. So what we're able to do is is bind that uh, that chemical that uh, that sex pheromone to an electrostatically charged particle, which basically means when the male moth fly towards a um, uh, it looks like a piece of chalk, which has got all the electrostatically charged particles in it. When the moths uh, fly towards it, thinking that it's a female, then parts of the uh, particles will stick to the moth, which means now that the male moth will smell like a female moth. It will be giving off the pheromone as it moves around and give off a false pheromone trail, causing uh, other males to come out of their harborage and, and chase that particular male around. When they try and mate with that one, then the uh, then the electrostatically charged particles get stuck to that particular moth as well, and, and the then you get a lot of confused moths. Yeah, the moth who's who's uh, been made to smell like a female when the other moths come out of their uh, harbour, I think you called it, wherever they are, with their lair, and, yes. and and try and mate with that moth, it leads to much confusion. But does the male moth who is being mated with, does that male moth think it's a female moth or is it just a very confused moth? Unfortunately, that is now a very confused moth because mm. it, it has got the, the scent of female all over it and its main drive, any, any moth. You see, the moths don't feed. They've got a very short life cycle. So a very short life in that particular part of their life cycle. Their main drive is to find a member of the opposite sex and, and breed and therefore get more eggs laid to pass on their, their genes, etc. So the, um, what you've got now is a moth that desperately wants to mate, but all it can smell is female and not actually find a real female. Is this a, a long-term solution to keeping moth numbers down? I mean, and do we, what, where, where are moths in the ecosystem? Might there be unintended consequences? Uh, there should be no unintended consequences when you uh, when you think about closed moth. They tend to be in a in a very um, closed environment, i.e., somebody's home or maybe a museum or something like that. So they're not uh, going to be going out into the wider ecosystem. But the um, the pheromone itself is very specific to that particular species, which in this case is the common closed moth, and uh, and therefore there will be no attraction to other moths or, or other species of moth. For that purpose, once you get these males, they've got the um, the pheromone on them.